God. Hello, I'm Charles from the River City Science Academy. Today we are going to be carrying out Is Yeast Alive project. We will carry out an indirect test for metabolism. In other words, we will be indirectly testing whether yeast can use energy, which is one of the characteristics of living organisms. When yeast, humans, and other living organisms use energy, they break down high energy molecules, and like sugar, to get the energy they need and give off a gas called carbon dioxide as a byproduct of this reaction. We will test whether yeast can metabolize sugar and produce a gas, which we will presume is carbon dioxide. Specifically, we will test whether yeast produces a gas when it has sugar available as a food versus when no sugar is available. All right, here's the procedure. Set up four test tubes in a test tube rack. Test tubes one and two will have both yeast, sugar, and water. Test tubes three and four will both have only yeast and water with no sugar. Fill test tube one four-fifths of the full with warm tap water. Add one packet of dry yeast a little bit at a time, mixing the yeast thoroughly before adding more. Pour the yeast solution so that there is an equal amount of yeast for the four test tubes. Add half a packet of sugar to test tube one and the other half to test tube two. These two will be your experimental group. Do not add sugar to test tubes three and four. Add warm tap water to each test tube, filling each test tube four fifths of the way to the top. Cover the opening of each test tube with a balloon to catch any gas that is formed. Using them to seal the end of the test tube, hold a finger over the end of each test tube and shake it vigorously enough to mix the, the contents.
It will take some time for the yeast to metabolize and form carbon dioxide. Thank you for watching River City Science Academy.